Hi friends, welcome to my channel Cloud TV. In this channel, I basically put technology videos on big data like Spark and Adobe ecosystem. Okay, I am going to <coughs> start a new series called end to end project uh, uh, explanation or end to end project development using uh, big data technologies. So I used uh, uh, some of the uh, components from Apache Spark and some of the components from uh, Apache uh, uh, Hadoop and Spark and also other uh, big data technologies I used and I used visualization as well uh, kind of uh, uh, packages like uh, Dash from the Python uh, uh, libraries okay so uh, uh, so I will keep this uh, uh, video short okay so this will be a, a architecture discussion uh, uh, then I will start by uh, uh, explaining each and every component with the coding so this will be a, a end to end project discussion uh, on big data project and uh, spark project okay so feel free to uh, uh, post your comments if you have any queries and uh, doubts okay please subscribe to my channel to get uh, more technology videos okay let us go through the uh, reference architecture which i uh, taken for building this uh, <coughs> uh, real time uh, uh, streaming system okay so uh, so this is the reference architecture for uh, building a uh, real time uh, system okay so <coughs> so here uh, you see uh, there is a, a, a source uh, section or a source layer okay so the source can be uh, uh, any of this uh, uh, the any of this uh, 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 technologies or any of these uh, uh, sources okay so Twitter can be a one source okay and any RDBMS uh, being a one source okay and uh, so there is a open weather API which I took uh, uh, this uh, project okay and also uh, you can have uh, other source like web application okay so then uh, these sources will be uh, pushing the data to the uh, messaging system so the major messaging system which I am using is a Kafka distributed uh, messaging system okay so if people who are new to this uh, uh, Kafka Kafka is a, a distributed messaging system where uh, people can write uh, uh, to the uh, write the data or messages to the Kafka topic 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 is a placeholder where you the data resides okay and uh, uh, so people who want to consume that messages written in the topic can be uh, written by the consumers okay so consumers can be a standalone consumer okay or it can be a spark streaming application okay so <clears throat> once the data comes to the kafka topic okay uh, the distributed messaging system okay so uh, i have written a uh, spark streaming application okay which consumes uh, 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 data from this uh, Kafka topic okay then you can do a lot of processing uh, uh, based on your project requirement okay uh, I kept uh, minimal processing in uh, in our uh, uh, project okay so the idea is to uh, show you end-to-end -end project development uh, using Apache Spark and Apache Hadoop components okay so then uh, so we use this uh, Spark uh, 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 spark component right so uh, so spark streaming is uh, uh, underlying it uses spark core apis okay so uh, so uh, zookeeper is a component which is a coordination service for uh, different uh, uh, different uh, uh, big data components so uh, in this case uh, for uh, kafka uses the zookeeper to handle the messages okay the offsets uh, offsets are uh, uh, message uh, uh, identifier uh, uh, so to maintain those messages uh, uh, Kafka internally uses the zookeeper okay uh, <clears throat> then uh, so you know uh, if people who are familiar with Hadoop they know the two main components uh, uh, HDFS and YARN yet another resource negotiator which is a, a resource management component okay so then we use Hive okay so I will tell you why we use Hive okay so once you consume the message from the uh, Kafka topic in the spark streaming 
okay you do some processing and you write it as uh, you write it into the hdfs okay so after writing into hdfs okay so i create a uh, external uh, uh, table okay external table uh, on uh, top of uh, uh, external table in the hive pointing to the uh, uh, the hdfs data which is written by the spark streaming application so that uh, further analysis uh, uh, further querying can be uh, done using the uh, hive uh, uh, table okay so once you have the hive tables this can be accessed from different uh, components like presto which is a distributed uh, query engine okay uh, comparatively it is faster than the uh, uh, it is faster than the uh, uh, some of the uh, open source uh, distributed uh, uh, air query engines okay so uh, so it is a very uh, 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 low latency uh, 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 <coughs> query response uh, uh, can be achieved using the presto which is developed by facebook okay so uh, and also you can use uh, oz like component to schedule your job so in this uh, current project i am not using the scheduler okay so uh, going forward uh, for the announcement of this project or uh, adding features to this project i will be using the oz components so uh, once uh, you have the tables uh, process the data in your uh, hive table okay uh, those data can be uh, uh, put into the uh, uh, your uh, you can you can uh, post the uh, process data on the uh, dashboards okay so uh, directly from uh, directly from uh, um, hive tables so there are uh, uh, different uh, uh, visualization tools and uh, be tools available reporting tools available to read the uh, i i tables so in in this project i took a, a simple uh, uh, visualization package called uh, uh, dash okay uh, it's also a uh, 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 web application development package as well as they can use visualization in that so which uh, dash use internally the uh, uh, plotly which is the uh, one of the visualization package in python okay uh, so uh, basically uh, uh, using the dash you can build the web application for uh, reporting uh, uh, reporting purpose okay so <clears throat> so uh, to, uh, to so we in the in the web application which is the dash application okay to um, to read this uh, data from my tables so i i actually uh, uh created one more layer okay i did not put in this architecture so i created a, 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 a service okay flask based rest uh, rest api which will uh, uh, read the hive tables the data from the hive tables using the presto a query engine so that you can your uh, api gets uh, data is in uh, very quick in 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 in, 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 in in terms of seconds okay it does the seconds and it will actually uh, uh, publish the uh, result into the uh, uh, the dashboard okay so this is the high level flow so what happens is uh, uh, so you actually uh, so i written a um, kafka producer this kind of data generator actually which reads this uh, open weather api okay and then publish the data into the uh, kafka uh, topic okay uh, i have a topic like sample topic one so uh, uh, so those data or messages or events are consumed by the spark streaming application okay then it does the basic uh, uh, data manipulation okay then it writes into the hdfs on the hdfs data i create a hive tables and uh, uh, using that hive tables okay uh, we read the uh, uh, like we have the service uh, uh, to read the hive tables okay data from the hive tables and publish it as a publish as a api okay that api will be consumed uh, from the web application which is which is uh, visualization or dashboard application okay so uh, so this is so this is what i built it so this this i took this as a reference architecture i built this application okay so that's all from uh, this video i just given you the overview of uh, our architecture uh, for our project okay so in the next video i will demonstrate the uh, application then uh, we'll go uh, uh, each and every components and uh, discuss further uh, thank you so much friends uh, please subscribe to my channel to get more technology videos and uh, 
on the further videos on this project thank you so much